Hey guys, welcome back to episode 3 of our Unity first person shooter multiplayer game thing tutorial series. Again, bad intro. And I'm going to keep making bad intros because I like making bad intros. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and load up our project. Now, I think you guys are going to like this episode for a pretty good reason. What is this reason, you may ask? Well, I shall show you. Hmm. Get away. So last time we left off, we were... Uh, oh yeah. Last time we left off, we had created our level. And we imported our... We got our, um... Our character in. And everything was cool, right? So now when we hit play, it drops us in. There we go. Whoop de doo and we can walk around and stuff. And it's really cool. Although you know what? One thing's bothering me. I feel like this should be just a bit smaller. There. Now let's try it. Uh, yeah, that's much better. That's a ton time that's a hundred times better. Anyways, so this episode, we are going to be something... Whoa, what was that? No, we are going to be doing something very interesting. And I, I hope you guys like it. What are we going to be doing? Well, I will explain. Alright, enough song. For real, we're going to be... This episode, we're going to be creating a weapon in... Bl a gun. A gun in Blender. And we're going to be... We're going to start programming it. Get Just get the basics going. Um... And we're hopefully going to, my plan is um, for the code, we're going to make it so that there's going to be a checkbox. And then when you uh, hit the checkbox, not inside the game, like, um, this is going to be a piece of code, uh, a line, uh, uh, no, a script that you can apply to any weapon, whether it's uh, fully auto, um, semi-auto, whatever. And you can change the damage, the range, the the fire rate, the auto, uh, whether it's auto or not. So that's what I was talking about, the checkbox. And you can make it really amazing. And and basically right now our, all we're going to have is when you shoot, um, it's just going to make a pew sound. But under, like, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do this episode, just to get started. So... Two, a couple things that are that we need to do before we get started. First, let's duplicate, and then rotation seven twenty. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Uh, ninety degrees. Whoa. Okay, then it needs to be on the z-axis. Ninety degrees. There you go. That's what I was talking about last episode, how we were going to just duplicate it. And bam, now, there's our level looking all fine and dandy and stuff. One other thing, we need to, um, here, we need to create a 3D object, a capsule. Because, I don't know if you knew, if you noticed that, but our character was literally just... Uh, invisible it, it, he was invisible and you can't have that when you're making a first-person shooter especially when it's multiplayer because then everything's weird and my goal for this is going to be simplicity so on each team one person the the players are going to be red blue green and yellow so when you uh join the game it'll ask you what team you want to be on and if the team has three players you can't join it and That'll be pretty cool, and they'll be they'll stand out a lot because our map is white, which I find to be pretty cool. So now that we've done those things, let's start off by modeling our gun. So, like last time, minimize uh, Unity, open up Blender, let it load, let it load. All right, come on, Blender, come on, Blender, come on, Blender. Okay, there. Like always, delete. Oops, wrong button. Delete. Delete. Whoa, what was that? Delete. 
And now we got our blank world. So, as always, st I, I always start off by pressing space. No, that's not how I sp start off. I go file, user preferences, add ons, and then I just make sure screencast keys. Come on, and start display. Okay, hit N again. All right, so space snap cursor to center that's what you gotta do just trust me on this all right make a cube in edit mode uh, we don't we don't for, uh, just to save time um we can we could just make us a, a, a pistol I mean that's all we really need to do so Face select. It's going to be a really quick just pistol that we're going to make. Okay. Um, a control R. I think that's good. Head back over to face select. Select these. Extrude it out. Make it look a bit like a pistol. Bam, that looks good. Oh, I'm getting notifications on my phone. God damn it. So hit control R. Subdivide up here a bit because here, what well, we're actually, no, it needs to be. Uh, I think that's good, yeah, to be honest. So, face selects. Oh, also, we need to. Uh, again, I messed up. Control R here, make a bunch of these. Bam. Now head over here to face select, do B. It's like this, then select this, and head up, go up, bam, and head over here, select these two, up, and bam. Let's extrude them out a bit more. I think that's good. I think that's good to be honest. So wait, what? Whoa! What was that? What? Oh wait. So one, two, three, four. Oh uh, yeah, that's good. Right. Whoops! Exit out of that mode. So four. Huh. It looks nice. It looks... It's good enough. See? Our pistol is amazing. Now hit file. Save. Um, it should take you straight to your... Um, it, it'll take you straight to the last... Uh, God damn it. I'm so dumb. It'll take you straight to the last place you saved your previous file. And in our case, it's our actual project, so... Just name it gun, hit enter, hit save blender file, exit out of blender, open up unity, and bam, there's a gun. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to parent this to our control, to our uh, camera, not our controller, but our actual camera. And what basically what parenting is, is you make this the child of this object. And what, it, what I mean by, ob by child is it moves wherever the object moves and it rotates wherever the object rotates so it'll like if i were to um parent this parent the gun to the first person character yeah i know the gun is really big we'll make it smaller anyways um if i were to parent this to it it would stay in that spot okay if i and then if i were to move my actual um character forward this by one the gun would move forward by one if I were to turn right by six the gun would turn to the right by six so that's pretty cool I think so let me get this in front of our character wait which way is this facing oh it's facing that way huh okay so let's rotate this. I 
So let's make this 90 degrees. Just have it point forward. Bring it down. Bring it back. Make it smaller. Make it a lot smaller, actually. Move it up. Move it over. Move it down. Move it back a bit. Uh, move it forward. Just want to position this so that it looks good. Rotate it a bit. Oh, Control Z. Just on this axis. I think that looks good, to be honest. That looks pretty good to me. So now, when we hit play and move around, we have a gun. And. Oh, and that looks really cool and stuff. So, yeah, that looks that that's actually pretty awesome. So now let's get into programming. So I'm going to open up my scripts folder. Oh yes, I tried to record before this. And it didn't work out too well, so um, so let's just go ahead and create a C sharp script and name it gun gun shoot attempt attempt I misspelled attempt anyway who cares so in my opinion C sharp is a lot better use C sharp please JavaScript it's weird it's confusing it's not good. So, open up gun shoot attempt. Open up the gun script you just made it. Oh my god, it's part of develop. It's so cool. <laughs> Let it load. Let it load. Ba bam. So now we got our script. Let me explain stuff to you. So, all C sharp scripts have to be wrapped in a thing called a class. A class is like a class is like a machine okay and basically these voids are like parts of the machine they're working parts of the machine okay so a, okay this is hard to explain i'm not good at analogies um so yeah that's 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 basically it this class is a machine. It has little voids in it that are parts of the machine that tell that tell stuff to do other stuff. And uh, yeah, so use um this here using Unity Engine and using System Collections. Uh, um the Unity Engine and System Collections have built-in voids um. That you could use, and that's what's so amazing about Unity. Like Unity has some really amazing functions that you could use, and I like, I like them, I like them a lot. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, um, so that's basically all those are. They're telling it use the Unity engine, the voids in the Unity engine. I mean, the functions in the Unity engine, and use um the functions slash voids in System Block Collections. So here you could see void start and void update. They come with every new uh, C sharp script that you write when when you open them up. And void start, whatever is in here, will be called only once when the when the script starts running, like when you start the script. And void update is called once every second, no, once every frame. And then there's a thing called void fix update, which is called once every second whether you so this makes it fair for p players because void update uh, depends on how fast your frame rate is so the faster your frame rate the better it is but um there's certain things that you can't do properly in void fixed update or else it gets messed up like shooting so in this case we're going to be using void update i know or whatever so void start uh, i don't think we're going to need it actually Nah, I'm not gonna need it. So let me introduce you to a thing called variables. So remember, I'm pretty sure you guys know what a variable is in math. Like, it's just a number slash letter 
no, it's a letter, um, or a character used as a placeholder for a certain thing that can vary, like it, it changes, right? So, a variable in programming is basically the same thing. It could be a word, like, um, well, whoops, it could be a word, it could be a, a, just a string of characters, it doesn't really matter. But, um, and it could hold different types of uh, things in it. So variables could be, um, it could be a number, it could be a string, it could be, uh, it could be how it, it could even be an object that that could be a variable. So to declare a variable, you could just write like uh, floats. A float is just a number. Um, that is not a decimal. No, no, a float is a number that can be a decimal, and then an int is an integer, which has to be, um, a whole number. So you could say int high, so that's how you declare. You say the type of variable, and then the name, and then you type equals, and then whatever the value is, so 12f. Uh, I mean 12, and then hit semi semicolon. Semicolon is used as like, um, it's used as sort of a. How do I explain this? This is hard to explain. I am so dumb. Um, it's used as a. It, it, it's like a period in a sentence, as a sense. Like so, once you're done uh, declaring a class. Oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh, so once you're done declaring something, or calling something, or something, something along those lines, um, you put a semicolon, always. But not an update, or if statement. So, an if statement is basically this. If whatever is in here is happening, do this. But... Yeah, but you don't put semicolons. Now, a better way to call to um, to create a variable, which I use personally, is you do the same thing except before it, you use either public or private. So that makes things a lot easier. So let's start off our program, our, our script by declaring the variables that we're going to use. So public floats damage go away damage equals 25f. So whenever you you're talking about a float um in programming you always have to put an f at the end. Or I think that's just C sharp. I, I'm not sure though. Um, so what else do we need? We need public floats fire rate Oops. equals. Let's just say. Oh no 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 no. We're not going to do a. Actually yeah we are. Fire rate equals one. Just bear with me on this. Public float cooldown equals zero. I believe that's how I did it last time. Anyways, uh, what else does a gun need to have? Uh, we also need public. Oh yes, of course. I'm forgetting a very important thing. Public. Game objects, which is like I said, an object. Gun. Whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up, hold up. Gun. So we're gonna have a public game object called gun. So now if we just hit Control S and save this or file cancel, it's already saved. And we hit on shoot gun script. And we applied this to our gun, and then hit gun. You see here, we have all these things. Cause, because we made them public, they show up here. You see, we have our gun, so just drag the gun 
over to here. No, wait. We don't need a gun. What am I talking about? I am really dumb. Huh. Anyways. Public audio uh, uh, was it audio clip? Yeah, it was audio. It's audio clip. Um, shoot sound. Uh, private. Private. Bool. A bool is basically true or false, okay? Um, is sh shooting. Um,. Public pool. Um, this will tell you if it's automatic or not. If it's an automatic or not. Um. Oh, up here we we also need to do a public float. Float range. And set that equal to 50F. So, oh, oh, whoops, I forgot a semicolon. So, let's see, what else could we add? Um, <laughs> oh, yes. Public float mag size equals 30F. What is this? What is public floats um, mag amounts equals three F. So we're going to have oh whoops, that's why that was happening. See? See my six, bro? So on um, this each magazine is going to have thirty bullets and each clip, uh, uh, and um, we're gonna have three magazines. In that's not including the one that you start off with. So you're gonna have one plus three, so four in total. Um, next, so let's start off by let's start programming. So void fire. We're gonna start off by with an if statement, and this if statement will ask if auto dot equals true then do this so if the gun is automatic then if input dot gets button or what was it get button uh, no whoa get touch get out of here get touch no it was Get key. Yeah, it was definitely get key. Um, key code dot mouse zero. So key code dot mouse zero is basically your shoot button, the left mouse button. Then fire. Oh, no, no, dot fire eight. Fire. Oh my god, not fire eight. It's good. So here, um, I'm calling a void fire that we're about to create. I forgot void. Whoops, void, void fire. So now, if I were to hit Control S, bam. So in void fire, we're going to carry out our shooting stuff. Now, else. Else, if inputs dot get key down key code dot mouse zero oh whoops I I I messed up here big time.
What is up with fire? What is happening right now? Dude, it's giving me an error for no good reason. Fire. Oh, you know why it's giving me the error? Because I forgot to do that. Derp. So if input dot get key down, key code dot mouse zero. Um, so the difference between these two, get key, um, will call, will do whatever is inside of the if statement as long as you're holding down the mouse button. The get key down will do whatever's in the if statement for only for as long as the button's being pressed. So here I just need to go press. Here I would need to go press, 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 press. So that's the difference between those. This will make our gun, uh, or this script versatile so that we can use it for non automatic guns. So, here also, fire. So, in fire, what is it gonna do? Well, we're gonna wanna declare a thing called array. Array. Um. No, you know what? Let's not do that this episode. Let's keep it simple. For this episode, when we shoot, it's literally just going to do this. Audio clip dot play clip at points. And then what was the uh, uh shoot sound? So shoot sound. Bam. God damn it. That. Second. I don't know why this is not working. It should give me play clip at point. Is that it? Oh my god. Audio dot play. Oh my god. I'm so done right now. Why, why is this happening? What, is it only audio? Oh, it's audio source. Dot. Play clip at points. There you go. Huh. That's really weird, actually. Why is there a random ass line here? Go away. So play clip at points, and then you do shoot sound. So it'll just play whatever sound we have here. So let's get a sound. Open this up um, and go to let them let them there. And let them there is basically um, it's a 48 hour game jam, and basically that gives you um, 48 hours to create a game, and then you enter it in a competition. And I swear, there was a thing, uh, let them dare tools. Yes, it's let them dare tools. So go down and find in audio tools, find sound effect generator. And I'm pretty sure it's SFXR. No, it's. BFXR. One is online, one you have to download. So, over here, just click on laser slash shoot. And let's just find a good one. Yeah, yeah, I like this one. This one's nice. So, yeah, this one's good. So, you'd go, um, so you just. Uh, save to disk. No, 
No, that's not what you would do. You would... You would save it to wherever you have... Whoops, wrong folder. Wherever you have your... Um, thing. So just navigate to there and... Sounds... Save. Head back over here to Unity. It, it'll import it. What is this? Mine 17. Let's see. Oh, yes, because we forgot to save it. There. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do transform dot position. Save all. Why did that get suddenly? Hit clear. There. So now, if we head over here to gun, we'll have an audio clip. So let's make it get automatic. And hit gun. Head over here to sounds. And let's just drag our audio clip into there. So now when we hit play. You see, it's shooting too fast. Next episode, we'll insert a fire rate so that it doesn't do that. But if we make it semi-auto, you'll see. So that's pretty cool, right? So we got a gun that makes sounds all through the magic of programming. Hooray. We did all that in just a couple lines of code. I find that pretty awesome. Yay! You know what? We could actually add another thing. Here, let's add and mag size. No. Wait. You know what we gotta do? We gotta add another float called public floats ammo equals equals mag size there and ammo is greater than zero then you shoot And let's just copy this. Copy and paste. Although we got two of those. There. See? So this will really quickly check to see if we have ammo. And fire will do ammo. Whoa. Ammo. I keep misspelling ammo. Uh, minus, minus. Bam. So each time we shoot, it'll take one bullet away. So now if we head back over here, we hit this. Whoops. File. Oh, it's already saved. Okay, now we're getting an error. Why are we getting an error? You know what? It doesn't have to be that. We could just make it 30F. And then just file, save all. Head back over here to Unity, hit clear. Hit play. And you see here, the ammo's going down. Pretty cool, right? So that'll be all for this episode. Have fun, and remember, stay awesome.